So, I have a text UI element and I want to update the text when I press this button. To do this, I'm going to utilize my scriptable object library, which you will find in my repositories in GitHub. Okay, you can get to the GitHub by going on my site, click on GitHub, scriptable object library, and so on. Download the scripts and add it into your project. I'm going to select the text and I'm going to go and add a component and I'm going to say update text. This will work also the same if you have an update image or you want to update a slider based on a value and if you want to update a toggle based on a value especially useful when you are using uh, when you're making menus or options menus and stuff like that. For now we want only the update text. This also works as a game event listener but we're going to see this behavior in a bit. For now all I need to do is drag the text down here and I'm going to add on the target text the component text. I'm going to go now on my button and I'm going to click on click, drag the text and I'm going to say update text and there is two raise methods. The one we want is the one that also writes the string which means on its signature we can also pass a string and it will update the text with the string we want to have. So for now we're going to use this and I'm going to write on the string something. Okay, let's hit play and voila, just like this we update the text. This is super useful, we've used this in our series, for example when we were making the hit the main menu Okay, and when we wanted to have titles update based on the menu position you were, okay, we were doing this uh, with this function. Let's see another way to do the same, but this time I'm just going to remove the button. I'm going to go and create a game event. I'm just going to say update text. And I'm going to create a new variable. And I'm looking for a string. I'm going to say target text. Let's say something over here. And I'm going to go again on my text on the same component. I can assign a game event. In this case, it's the update text. And I can assign a target string, which will be, of course, the target text. If I click raise on enable, the moment this game object is open or enabled, well, it's going to also run this behavior, but I don't want to run this right now. If I want to have some additional uh, events, I can keep adding a stack over here, so it will have them. I don't need them right now, so I'm going to remove them. And I'm going to hit play, but I don't have a button, so how can I trigger the event? I can select this event from over here, and because we have made a custom UI for this, I can click raise and it will update the text. Okay, again this is super useful, check all my other series, especially the third person shooter multiplayer and the souls like series where I use these methods a lot and you will see how much life or how much of a lifesaver this are. So, as always, like, subscribe and if you like to see more stuff and as we write over here, consider supporting me on Patreon so we can keep making both our nice series and tips like this. I'll see you on the next one.